Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a colorful makeup look using Michael Todd Cosmetics. The first thing you're going to want to do is prime your eyes. This is extremely important to keep your eyeshadows on and lasting longer. Then you want to apply your cream shadow. I'm using one from Michael Todd Cosmetics and it's their Longwear Cream Shadow in the color Instant Love. This is a beautiful bronzy color and I'm just going to apply that on my lid. You can use it as a base, but today I'm just going to use it as a lid color. Then you want to apply your eyeshadows. I'm going to be using a shimmer powder in the color Tango, and it's just a really beautiful red color. Taking a small blending brush, I'm going to blend it into the powder and concentrate it on my outer V. This will just really deepen up the crease. After that, the next thing I'm going to use is a color called Decadence and it's just a medium toned brown. Using that same small blending brush, I'm going to apply the light brown right over top of the red and it's going to help blend out the red color and also create some more depth within the crease. And I'm taking this all the way down to the tear duct, but try not to cover up any of the cream shadow we applied before. Now this step is extremely important. I'm going to be blending out all the colors so that there's no harsh lines and so that everything kind of blends in together and creates a really pretty look. The next thing I'm doing is putting an off-white color with no shimmers in it right on the brow bone just to highlight it and I'm also going to be putting it in my tear duct in the inner corner. The next thing you're going to do is apply really colorful eyeliner. You can choose any eyeliner that you want, but I'm going to choose one in the color like a forest green. So taking a small angled brush, apply it right on the lower lash line, but only go about halfway in, and you want to also apply it to the waterline as well. Then just to make the look a little bit more dramatic, wing it out just on the lower lash line. Then using a dark brown eyeliner, I'm going to apply this right on the very end of the upper lid. By doing this, you don't really want anything too dramatic on the top lid because we already have a lot of colors and the eyeliner on the bottom lash line is dramatic enough for the look. Then I'm going to apply mascara. This is a brown mascara by Michael Todd Cosmetics and I'm absolutely in love with this mascara. It definitely is true with the title. It gives me great length. This is what the wand looks like, and again, it's in the color brown. The reason I'm using a brown colored mascara is because it's going to be toning down the look. I don't want to use a straight up black mascara because that'll just be way too much. So this kind of blends all the colors in together. If you happen to have small eyes like I do, a great trick to kind of widen them and open them up is to take some white eyeshadow and apply it right in the inner corners. So this is ultimately the finished look. Just to finish everything off, I'm going to apply my lipstick and my lip gloss. I'm applying a bright pink lipstick and over top of it I'm using Michael Todd Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite lip glosses from them and it's in the color Girlfriend. It's just a really bright pink color so it'll go really well with the bright pink lipstick. So that is it for the lips, and the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I did for my face, just in case you wanted to know, just to kind of finish the whole look off. So for my face, I used a bronzer. It's kind of a light bronzer, I didn't want it to be too dramatic. And I just put it right underneath of my cheekbones, I kind of contoured my nose as well. Then I'm taking a shimmery blush, and I applied it right on my cheekbones and up to the temples. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you later.